configure a Canon color copier to limit or restrict color usage. So what we'll do is we'll program it. We got to go to its IP address, which you can get off of it off the copier. We have videos at DSI. Uh, DSIhelps.com to show you how to get the IP address. But then you're going to log on, administrator and whatever your local company copier company makes their password. So we're going to log on. We're going to get system settings. This is a two-step process or multi-step. First, we need to turn on department IDs because that's what does the limiting or restricting. So we're going to enable it and we're going to tell it to allow black print jobs because that's what's going to allow our clients to print color, black and white without interference. <clears throat> then we're going to go to, we're going to log back in, system settings, user management again, authentication management. And the first thing we need to do is turn this on, turn on under control panel settings. We just need to turn it from do not require to anytime they engage anything to do with color. We want to make somebody authenticate, log in. Then we're going to go up to user management and we're going to hit add. Let's say in our example the owner wants to be able to do color. So we're going to call it owner. We're going to say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do not ask me for password display. We'll call it the owner. And department ID. This is important because this is what's going to do the limiting and tracking is the department ID. So I'm going to make a new department ID. This can be any random number you want. Four digit, six digit, doesn't matter. So I'll do 4321 just in our demo. And you can make a pin. I'll just do 1234, 1234. Add, not now. Select the ID that I just did. Hit OK. And let's hit Add. Don't save. And so now we have a user called Owner, who Owner has unlimited color. And the reason they have unlimited color, because that's the defaults. When you make a new department ID, they're basically, it just basically turns on tracking. It doesn't limit them by default any. So if you come over here and you pull up the 4321 owner customer, you see there's no, this is where page limits would come in. So if you want to limit this person to 100 copies, 1,000 copies, in any of these categories, so if you check the box and put a quantity, that does limiting. If there are no limits, meaning everything's unchecked and everything's zero, that means they can do all they want, which is what you probably want for the owner. Um, and you can, so th if you needed to limit somebody, this is where this would occur. Normally, people like to limit color, so maybe you turn it on and you say they can do a thousand and so on. But in my example, I'm not really going to limit. So what we have, if we come over to the copier now, we should be able to make a black and white copy without, so it's in black and white mode. I should be able to make a copy. It asked me this only because I don't have a piece of paper on the dock feeder. And it made a copy. But if I switch to auto color, and I say copy, it should say, hey, you need to log in. So I said, OK. It says, who are you? I'm the owner. Next, I believe I made my password 1234. Log in. And now I can make a color copy. And then you can log out when you're when you're done. And it goes back to nobody with black and white. So that's the way you control the copy feature. Now let's say printing. Because right now we've turned on department IDs. So the printer probably just stopped for everyone if you've already had this installed and deployed. So this is my cop this is my printer for this copier that we're looking at. So if I go under device settings and I tell it to refresh, it should come back and say, hey, you are using department IDs. I need to go to settings for your black and white users. You need to check this box that says do not use department IDs when printing black and white. What that basically means is they can print black and white without being asked or interfered with. If they try to do color, it will pop up and say you need to enter a, a, a pin code, I mean your 
department ID. So I can hit OK, I can hit Apply, come over to General, we'll just confirm. So I'm in color mode, so let's see what happens. So if I try to print, it says, hey, who's your department ID? If you don't know this, and this is why you don't want to make it super easy, because you know if you don't know this, then you can't print. It'll if you even if you type something in there, it'll basically dump your job. Now if you flip back over and we tell it to be a black and white print job, it prints no problem. You see it turn on it's turning its printing. So that part, that's how it works. Now if you were, like if you need this, if you're at the owner's machine, you probably want to go to device settings under department management. You want to turn on allow pin. Um, what did I make her pin? What did I? 4321. 4321. I think I made the password 1 through 4. You can verify. It says it was correct. Normally I do not confirm. And you don't have to do this either because this person has been is not limited anyway. But either way, you could leave this checked or not checked. And hit OK. Apply. Now if we were at the owner's computer, we could come over to General. Preferences. Now that we've authenticated ourselves, or told it what our pen is, we should be able to print color. And here again, it's going to pop up over here and say we're printing. So that's how you would do the owner or anyone who you've created a user code, department ID for. So that's basically how it works. Over time, let's say you were limiting, uh, at some point they're going to run into their limit. So normally what I would recommend is anybody who runs tracking or department IDs is at some point you probably want to come in here and run a report or save your data. Because uh, So you can save your data as a CSV format and you could name it, you know, January to March, whatever time frame you did from the last time you you update or you saved it. Um, but once you save your data, you can reset all your counters. And that basically will reset all these guys back to zero, so they'll start over counting again. So if they were limiting, let's say you gave them a thousand color copies a month, and you need to reset it so they can do a thousand next month. That's how you would do that. So this would be the reporting aspect, this is the clearing aspect, and it's all linked together to their name under the authentication management side. So that's how all the pieces work and the print driver is controlled because of the department IDs within the print driver, the copier, so everything is accounting and clicking. All right, thank you.